Hey guys, my Dan, April 19th at 12.20. Um, don't have my relogging kit in because I'm getting ready for bed, so I'm actually in bed. <laughs> and I have my sandwich and my noodles. But, um, yeah, I was just going to say if anybody has any advice um, for getting over the loss of your pets, please let me know. <laughs> Like I said, I am trying to move on, and it's still very hard for me, so I don't have my vlogging kit in, um, because like I said, I am getting ready for bed, it's in the kitchen, but I know having this in loving memory memorial area does help, including the projects, which is why I want to go to Michael's tomorrow and see what they have, uh, also like I said, I want to go to a Holocaust museum. Because I'm really into the Hogcast survivors and all that. And I'm actually going to watch, um, when I find it here, one of the Anne Frank movies on Netflix, if it's still there. I'm not going to watch all of it, probably like 20 minutes of it, because I've already seen it before. But, if I could find my other remote, which is over by... The DVD player. Ugh, so I guess not. I do have to get up. Oops. Actually, I'm gonna watch. Um. Yeah, so I am gonna watch this because I am going to the Hogcast Museum tomorrow. I'm gonna get up super early. Um, try to get up at least around 10 o'clock, because it's only open till 2.30, so, and it's pretty close, um, but yeah, so for me, like, doing history and stuff like that, it's been helping me get back into the holocaust, and learning about the history, and watching documentaries, and survivors on, uh, what do you call it, um, on YouTube, that's been helping me a lot, because I'm a history nerd, once again, I'm not a Nazi, I'm just totally into history, and, um, that's been helping me a lot, I do have a counselor, like I said, but, like, even she says she doesn't really know what else she could do, other than listen to what I have to say, I'm like, well, that's pretty much what I do on YouTube. <laughs> like I said, she was the one that suggested that I do YouTube. But, it's still very hard to even be at home and sleep and do, like, anything that I wanted to. <laughs> because all that I'm thinking about is my cats. And, it is April... What's the date today again? It is April 19th. So, Josephine passed away February 22nd. So, it has not been that long. <laughs> and, again, all my cats were together. It was like, Hope was in June. And then, Speckles was January. And then, Josephine was in February. So... It's like one after the other, pretty much. Even though it was split between the years, it still was so much. And people still keep asking me, too. They're like, they're surprised that I'm still going on. Because they're like, you've been through so much. And then on top of it, you have conditions. And I have to look after myself. And I have to do stuff. I mean, I know getting a new cat will help eventually. But like I said, I want to be ready to get a cat physically, emotionally, and mentally. And I'm not even close to any of those. Like, I know people keep telling me it's going to take time and all this. And I'm like, I'm still not even over my brother's death yet. <laughs> and that was when I was born. So that's 40, almost 40... Yeah, 43 years. I'm still not over my brother's death. 
And like I said, I've gone to lots of therapy, lots of counseling, lots of support groups. But at the end of the day, the only reason why I keep going is for them, for everyone that I lost. But at the same time, it's like it's, it's just so hard to want to go on and want to do anything. But like I said, I have to get up because I gotta eat. I gotta get up because I gotta smoke. I gotta get up because I'm a nerd. <laughs> and I'm a proud nerd, so I call myself a nerd. But I'm like, yeah, I have to get up to uh, learn all these all these things on about the Holocaust. And go to the museum, and I have to go shopping, and I have to print out things, and I have to do this, and I have to do that, so I can't sleep all day, as much as I want to sleep all day, I can't sleep all day, and like I said, it's very hard sleeping, because I don't have the gaps, I have my hope, stuffed animal that is over by the couch, but I'm too tired to even get up, <laughs> that's how tired I am right now, so it's like, oh, so yeah, I don't know, I'm just starting to get very lost and <coughs> I thought things would be easier by now. It's not it's worse than it was before. So yeah, it's it's like the Unloving Living Project does help and getting craft stuff, which is why I'm going shopping tomorrow and why I'm going why I've been shopping a lot. And you know, all that, so I could do the projects and stuff like that, but at the same time, it's just like, it still doesn't fix everything, like, I don't know if that makes any sense, <coughs> and remember, I have allergies, I'm not sick, but I do, I'm taking Buckley's before I go to bed, but, I just don't know what to do anymore. <laughs> Other than just keep being a nerd and just keep on YouTube. And this is literally the one thing that's keeping me going. Is doing YouTube. So like the views and stuff. It doesn't really matter to me. Because like I said. I'm doing YouTube for myself. And to inspire other people. But at the same time. It's more for myself than anyone. So I could get stuff off my chest. And, uh, yeah, I just, at least I stopped crying, <laughs> so that's a good thing, but other than that, it's like, I don't know what else I can do, other than take one day at a time, and that's what I've been doing, and like I said, right now I've been obsessed over the Holocaust, I've been watching lots of stuff on yeah, on YouTube and reading about it. Oops, there goes the volume. <laughs> I have to turn it down so I don't get copyright. And that's been helping me. And I know, like, a lot of people have told me get lost in TV, but I can't watch TV. Truth be told, I'm literally out as soon as I eat. <laughs> so I got my food here. My, uh,. Sandwich and my noodles. I don't know if you guys could see. <laughs> see it? <clears throat> there we go. But, uh, this is all that I ate today, which is surprisingly in my, and a piece of bread earlier, but I was like hardly even hungry throughout the day. So it's like, oh yeah, so this is a show that I was talking about Hitler's Circle of Evil. If you guys have not seen it yet. So it's a really good uh, documentary on um, Netflix, but I've seen it so many times and that I kind of like know everything. I'm actually kind of shocked that Schindler's List is not on, uh, what do you call it? Not on Netflix. It was. But it's not on Netflix right now, so I am wanting to watch something that's going to help me want to get up tomorrow. 
so I could go to the Holocaust Museum, which is right on 41st. So, and, um, it's by Oakridge Mall, so I don't know if you guys know where that is, but, yeah, I'm pretty excited for that. So, I'm gonna watch this until I eat, and then go to bed, but this is a good movie, if you guys haven't seen it yet. Um, my best friend, Anne Frank, that's what it's called. So, I've, seen, I've already seen it before, it's really, really good. But it's one of my, like I said, I got into the Holocaust because of Anne Frank, the Diary of Anne Frank. So, let's see if you can go on the side. Uh, do, 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 do. Get a photo. Oops. Oh. <laughs> now I have to go back. Back, back to the future. <laughs> Oops. So that's what I'm watching before I go to sleep. And yeah, I'm pretty, like I said, I'm pretty excited to go to the museum. So I hope I get up early so I could go. Um, sorry, I'm trying to plug in my phone. So, like, that's all that I've literally been doing is researching on the Holocaust. I think I'm saying it wrong, but. <laughs> Anyways, that's what I've been doing, and I don't really um, film that because that's when I'm outside smoking, watching YouTube. It's pretty much everything on YouTube. So I've been watching that on YouTube, and I've been watching North of 60 again because it reminds me of Selena. So that helps. Talking to you guys helps. Uh, shopping doesn't really help, but it kind of does. I'm hoping I'll find that some stuffed animals tomorrow that remind me of the cats. But, yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm lost. I'm lost more than I was at the beginning, which is surprisingly, because it's already been, what, February, March, April. Is it April? Yeah, April. So it hasn't March, February, March, April. So yeah, two months, three months. Feels like it's been longer. Wow. So that's why I keep thinking about the date because I'm like, no wonder why it's taking me so long. But <clears throat> even when I go out, people are like, you should smile. <laughs> you should do this. Why aren't you happy? <laughs> because. Three of my cats died. That's why I'm not happy. <laughs> and I know I constantly repeat that, but it's true. I mean, if I could have given them something to be magically better, I would have. But like I said, I've already been through it with their mom. And just thinking about what I would have had to go through is just... Yeah, it's too much for an old cat. And I know I did the right thing, but it still hurts. And I know my cats wouldn't want me to be sad, but it still hurts. <laughs> I'm only human. And out of everything that my life has thrown at me, losing my cats was the hardest. So... <sighs> yeah, just taking one day at a time, I guess, but at least I stopped, at least I'm not crying. That's, that's the good thing. Um, I feel like I'm all cried out, <laughs> so, but yeah, tomorrow I have to definitely get some more craft stuff. Like I said, that's what helped me the most, is getting into new hobbies such as crafts and the holocaust <laughs> so i know it sounds so funny because people are like you're talking the holocaust like it's uh like you want to be there kind of thing and i'm like no i just find it fascinating because all these people survived it and some people didn't but these kept trying and that's 
the main, that's why I keep playing, even though, uh, I'm sad, my faith has become stronger since then, and that's another reason why I've been so into the holocast, is because that's what they say, too, they keep, all this stuff happened because they're, they have to be a witness for God, they're a child of God, like, people, I'm surprised how many people don't believe that it existed, even though there's all these survivors, and the place is still there that you could go see in Germany, but people still think it didn't exist, I'm like, wow, <laughs> so, <clears throat> it's kind of, kind of crazy, but, yeah, I've been, but like I said, that's pretty much all that I've been doing, is, uh, Watching stuff about Anne Frank and the Holocaust and doing crafts and I still find it really hard to want to do anything and keep going on, but I do. I don't know how, I just do. <laughs> and uh, I don't know, it's just... Sometimes I keep thinking, do I really want another cat? Because I would have to go through this again. So I am kind of debating if I really want another cat. I mean, I do kind of want another cat, but how am I going to be able to... How am I going to be if I lose another cat? <laughs> like, uh, one of my friends... Actually, um, Chelsea Calhoun, the girl that I was watching on YouTube, my favorite YouTuber, she adopted a rabbit, and she didn't get to say goodbye to it, and she only had it for, like, a few weeks. I'm like, how do I know the cat that I get is going to live a long time? <laughs> oh, so... Like, can I really go through that again? But then at the same time, I'm like, the poor cat's stuck at the shelter. I don't want it to be there. <laughs> so, I will get one. I know I will, but... Uh, yeah, I just... I just don't know how to go on sometimes. and That's why I keep saying, if anybody has any more advice, because <laughs> I've given out my tips what to do, um, I know, keep busy, watch TV shows, uh, get out of the house, go for a walk, <laughs> I, I don't know what else people have said, um, uh, I just miss them like crazy, I miss them like crazy, actually, um, I used to watch Finding Nemo and Finding Dormy with Speckles. <laughs> so I haven't watched that since then. But that's why I go, even though looks are deceiving sometimes. Like I said, I am a daily vlogger and I am sharing my life. But a lot of times people are like, oh, you look like you're, you're fine and you're, you're, you're okay. But. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not, but it doesn't mean that I'm going to do anything. Because I'm not that kind of person, like I said. And I've already been through all that, so... You guys don't have to ever worry about that. If I go, it's because God wants me to go. Not because I want to go, so... That's why I keep going on, but... I don't know, I pray, like I said, I pray a lot to God. I listen to a lot of music. A lot of Christian music now. Like I said, I'm going to church on Sunday. Um, other than that, I don't really know what else I could do. I don't know, is there really anything else that you could do to get over loss? Other than it takes time. I'm like, it's 40, 43 years. <laughs> 33 years, and I'm still not over my brother's death. Uh, probably 20 years since my first cat. Still not over it. So, I don't really believe that, that in time it heals, but 
I mean, I am doing a lot better than I was when... Actually, no, that's wrong. I'm actually doing worse than I was when it happened, because it's just been so long without them. And... I thought it'd get easier, but it's not. <laughs> Sometimes I just wish that we didn't have to go through this kind of stuff, but then, like I keep saying, life would be so boring. And I know I repeat myself so much. So, so, so much. But, that's literally what's on my mind, is Speckles, Hope, and Josephine. And I still picture Josephine rubbing her butt on the carpet, <laughs> like toilet paper. <laughs> and Speckles coming up on the bed, and going on top of my head to wake me up in the morning. And Josephine... Trying to drink my pop and <laughs> also sleeping with me sometimes. And then I remember all the cats meowing every time they want food. Just the small little things. And I know, like, another thing too, people keep saying, oh, you should move. I'm like, no, I'm not going to move. I don't have that kind of energy <laughs> to move or money. And I like where I, where I live, so... But, I know, one day at a time, one day at a time, so, just know, it never really gets easier, you just learn to live with it. <laughs> just like the conditions and disabilities and life in general, you never get over it, you just learn to live with it. And that's literally all people could expect of me, and all people could expect of people in general is that you just could uh what do you call it <clears throat> take it one day at a time but i know people say oh in time in time in time well <laughs> i'm 43 years old <laughs> i still miss my brothers like i did when i was a baby and they passed away so I don't know if it takes time, I probably won't be here by the time I get over it. <laughs> because I'll probably be like 80 or 90 years old. I'll probably still miss my brothers and my cats and everyone. So I think it's funny when people say, it takes time, it takes time. I'm like, who has that kind of time to just wait for things to get better? And I know I keep saying I choose to be happy. I mean, I am, don't get me wrong, I am happy. Regardless of everything that I have to deal with, I'm just lost. There's a difference. You could still be happy and still be lost. And you could still be thankful and still be lost. And you could still do, like, a lot of things, but... Yeah, it's just, uh... Uh, I'm lost. <laughs> I'm lost, I'm lost, I'm lost. But I'm still going. I'm struggling just like everybody else. And yeah, I guess that's about it. That's all that I could say. But I'm going to get lost in history. <laughs> that's literally my number one thing right now is getting lost in history. Um, watching everything I can about the hall cast right now. So hopefully I could film when I go to the museum tomorrow. I probably won't film everything because there's some things that I want to kind of experience on myself. But I don't even know like how big it is or like what's there. All that I know is that they have photos of Anne Frank and they have and it's a museum. <laughs> That's all that I know. <laughs> I don't know anything else. So it's going to be interesting to see what it's like. But That's how I've been uh, dealing with pain, I guess, is history. And being a nerd. <laughs> I know I keep saying that. Being a nerd. Being a nerd. I'm a nerd. So, and then crafts. I don't know if I could film at Michael's. Probably not. 
but it is a big store. It's just so out of the way. And now my food's getting cold. And once again, I end up talking for almost a half an hour. <laughs> Instead of going to bed. So, I was originally going to do it short. But then I'm like, rambling on. As usual, I always ramble on. But, uh, yeah. I just got a, got a lot in my head right now, I guess. <laughs> So thank you guys for listening if you stay till the end and if you guys made it this far say hope in the comments. <laughs> Never give up hope. That's uh my number one line now I guess. The other thing is uh there's always hope. Can't give up. So like I said, I'm never gonna give up hope. I just feel lost. Without my cats, and if anybody else feels that way, let me know. What do you guys do? I mean, like I said, I, I've just been getting lost in history and doing projects. And, uh, yeah, that's about it, pretty much. Eat, sleep, spend time with family. Spending time with family did kind of help. But at the same time... Not really, because I still miss my gas like crazy. And, uh, I know a lot of people say they miss their cats 20 years later, so. <coughs> oh, I gotta take my Buckley soon. I got my Buckley's. <laughs> That's after I eat. So, yeah. That's... Hopefully I won't be coughing that much. I haven't been coughing too much today, so it's not too bad. So, yeah. Anyways. Any advice uh, would help. But like I said, I already have a counselor. I've already talked to her about it. <laughs> um, I just don't know what else to do. I guess there's nothing really you can do but just go day by day by day. And I don't know, it just it still feels like I'm living for everybody else but myself, but I don't know, maybe when I get the new cat things will change, but like I said, it's not gonna replace decades that I had with all my cats. And it was six cats, seven in total if you count Mark. Which I do. But. I still haven't found um, anybody to do a custom painting yet. So what I might do is just do it myself. And not by painting. Just um, look for photos of cats on trees. And then boys playing in trees. And maybe like save the photo and then crop it. And then use Pizzap that way. And then I love the quote that I keep saying, keep going. The person in heaven wants you to keep going or something like that. That's literally the number one thing that helps me going. So, but it's still hard. It's still so hard. It's like, my world just disappeared. It crumbled. Like, nothing's the same anymore. I used to love. I used to love going out. I used to love so many. I used to love life, and now it's just kind of like I'm stuck. <laughs> and I don't mean that in a bad way, because like I said, even though I'm stuck, I'm still happy because I'm alive. I'm still happy because I got God, and I got YouTube, and I got my friends and family, running water, food. So like. Yeah, so I'm so happy though, so don't get me wrong on that, so I'm going to play this movie, because it's a good one, and um, I'm probably going to fall asleep in like 10, 15 minutes after I eat my food, so I will talk to you later, but once again, if anybody has any advice, let me know, because um, I don't know what else to do. <laughs> I don't...
I don't, like I said, I don't think there really is anything else I can do. Because, like I said, even my counselors say that. There's nothing you could really do except keep going and keep going and keep going. <laughs> and that's what I keep going and keep doing. So, yeah, I will talk to you guys later. I'm going to watch uh, my best friend, Han Frank, and pretty much go to bed right after I eat. So, thanks again for watching, and if you guys have any advice, please let me know. And, uh, remember, you're not alone, and love never dies here on Phantom Series. Welcome to my haunted world, XOXOG, Opagos.